Welcome back to Baron's New Vegas Gun Guides. In this time, we are looking at a contemporary favorite, the 9mm pistol. Like most of my videos, we'll go over the ammunition first. The 9mm round has been around for a while, but not as long as the other rounds we have covered. Developed in 1901 by George Luger, it was based on another Luger-designed round, the 7.65 by 21mm Parabellum, which had another base, the 7.65 by 75mm Bordish Chart. This work revolved around Luger's eponymous Luger Pistol, which is probably the most famous user of the round to most. All of this design work was done for that gun. However, the 9mm pistol in game is based on another classic, the Browning High Power, developed, obviously, by John Moses Browning. The High Power was designed for the French military, as they held a contest for such a gun. And over the course of 11 years, from 1923 to 1934, the High Power was developed and accepted. However, during development, due to the patents sold to Colt by Browning for the M1911, Browning had to design the High Power carefully, and ended up with a pistol with several distinct differences. The one that most is common is the stacked rounds in the magazine, which allowed you to have more ammo capacity and the same amount of space in the grip, relatively. Due to the manufacturing plant's location in Belgium, we do get a bit of interesting history with it. The high power did find itself on both sides of World War II, and it ended up chambered in both of Luger's rounds, the 7.65 and the 9mm. In modernity, you can probably get one in 40 cal as well. Another thing to note is that in game, it is not made by Browning, but instead by the M&A guns manufacturers who made the 9mm, whether they be a company that split off and made copies of it. But they make a couple of other things in game, like the trail carbine scope and the binoculars, as far as we can tell. Now enough history, and on to the stats. And we start with damage at 16, which is almost twice the damage of the Silence 22, but it is 10 points behind the 357 Magnum, putting it square in the middle between these two starting guns. With 3.1 attacks per second, we get a DPS of 50, and with a mag cap of 13, and a reload of 1.7 seconds per magazine, we get a sustained DPS of 35.7 damage per second, which is quite good. It has the same AP cost as the Silence 22 pistol as well, at 17 AP per shot, with an efficiency of 0.9 damage per AP. Like most weapons, it's not truly meant to be a crit or stealth weapon. It has a standard crit percent multiplier of just one times, and deals double damage on crit, which is nothing too fantastic. And along with a spread of 0.7, it's not too great at long range shots, but it does come with a pistol scope mod, which lets you do some effective pest control from a nice safe distance. Ignoring the sight mod for a second, the 9mm does come with iron sights, and they are tritium coated V-notch and post iron sights, which are useful for clearing out dark caves and buildings, especially around good springs, given that the tritium glows in the dark. The 9mm is a cheap gun, at 100 cap space, but has a relatively expensive series of mods, but much less so than even one mod of a more expensive gun. The aforementioned 1.6x scope is only 150 caps, and the extended mags, which increase capacity to 20, and therefore give a higher sustained DPS, is just 250 caps, so you can end up with a 500 cap 9 mil, which is quite a bit more than what you paid for it. Now, as for durability, the 9 mil is good for its price, 745 shots of standard, or its other variants, and 620 shots of the to-be-discussed P-plus or overpressured 9 mil ammo. The standard 9 mil is cheap, like the 22 long rifle, at one cap per round. It does have hollow points at 3 caps per round, which come with the 25% increase of damage with the offset of 3 times increase on enemy damage threshold, which is really for light targets and pest control, which the 9mm excels at. And then we finally get to the P plus round, or overpressured. At 3 caps per round, it gives a 10% damage increase, a minus 2 to enemy DT, and a 20% higher degradation. All that comes together to mean that this overpressured round lets the 9mm attack things that are a little bit tougher and a little bit hardier than it's what would usually go after. However, it will burn through your 9mm at quite an accelerated rate. Now, 
This gun does have a unique variant, which is something we've been missing for quite a long time, and that is Binny's own Maria. It does 25% more damage at base 20. It has a faster rate of fire, firing at 3.7 attacks per second, with a 2 times percent crit chance increase, and a discounted AP cost of 15. It even has a higher durability of 995 rounds of standard ammunition, or 829 shots at overpressure, and that is in all the same 1.5 weight package. It does come with a nice gold and pearl trim as well. The only shame is that you have to take it from Binny's cold dead corpse. The shame being not that he's dead, is that it's so late in the game. It also serves as a sneak 50 holdout weapon, just like the normal variant. If you could get it earlier, it would be fantastic, but it is easily overshadowed by other weapons you get at that time. Now, there is one thing I'd like to say about the 9mm before we continue to conclusion, which is that the 9mm pistol in-game does offer an aesthetic change that is very present in the beginning of the game to the end of the game compared to the, its predecessors. But I might do another video on that later. But let me know in the comments if you want me to do such a video as I do have some ideas about how to compare the guns between the predecessors and Fallout New Vegas and how it changes. Now, in conclusion, the 9mm pistol is a very common and a very beginner's gun, being in the courier starting gear unless you tag energy weapons or explosives. Copies can be found on the NCR, Jackals, Vipers, Great Khans, and Powder Gangers. Chets in the Vendatron sell them almost always, and there is one in the Bison Steven on top of the box. With a strength requirement of 2 and a gun skill requirement of 0, the 9mm is truly the everyman sidearm. And finally, I'd like to thank Hitman47101 on the Nexus for his 9mm pistol reanimation set. It's very good, it is linked in the description, and he has plenty more that will be showcased, at least in the gameplay on these videos. Thank you all for watching.